clean emails, delete this one. You make marketing campaigns so much fun. Cleaning emails, delete this one. You make marketing campaigns so much fun. Yeah, so I think that's going to work. Where is Christopher? I know I saw him earlier today. Hey, oh, what hey are you doing? I, I, I was cleaning my email. Boy, that's not how this works. It's all nice. Huh. Thanks for joining us. This is episode 31 of The Layover Live. My name is Sandy Jordan. I'm the Director of Content Marketing here at Simple View. And here with me today, we have outdoor enthusiast Adam Nutting. How you doing? And Christopher, I want to ride my bicycle rolls. These are my two favorite marketing automation specialists. You might be the only marketing automation specialist I know. For That's now. Neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> and today's can't miss article of the week comes from Litmus. Now, we use Litmus all the time for all of our email previews. They are a great group of email marketing geniuses. Um, and they are talking about list hygiene. So I've asked these guys to join us today um, to give us a quick download on list hygiene and, and some of the key points from this article. So Christopher, why don't you kick us off and give us a bit of a definition of list hygiene? Uh, absolutely, and thank you. Of course. The article itself uh, sort of drills down into some information that you know I would recommend anyone watching. Uh, they can go out and read on their own. But at sort of a high level, uh, we're looking at the difference between active and inactive email contacts. Right. Uh, obviously, with active, you can you know cater campaigns that work specifically to them. With the inactive, this is where campaigns and hygiene uh, really play a part. Uh, you can simply you know, treat them as people that can be re-engaged over time okay. and hopefully sort of push them away from a soft bounce status into an active user. Uh, part of doing that is also looking at those lists and you know, pushing those people, those contacts through a hygiene program, uh, which I think our guru, Adam, about? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, because we do that all the time, right? We're Absolutely. constantly validating hundreds of thousands Valu of emails. Validating and just taking a look and seeing, you know, the most important, as Christopher was saying, is that opens are very, very, very important. And instead of having lots and lots of people on our list, we want to know those that are actively engaging. And those are actually open air emails. Because like a billboard, if we have millions of people driving by and they don't call your phone number, is mm -hmm. that going to give you a value? Or is it those people that actually call? Mm -hmm. And so even if it's there and people are ignoring it, those aren't the people we yeah, want to target. And so what we do is we actually use a validation service called Kickbox that allows us to go out and upload a list and then they provide back to us a report that tells us who's active and in good standing with their um, email provider in terms of they haven't bounced or they're not letting their emails fill up and then causing some kind of a server error, things like that. And we get, you know, are they deliverable, undeliverable, those that are risky, you know, things. Risky are people who have email addresses such as system emails. Okay. And so those are going to be things like info at, sales at, where it may actually, you know, go down to several people within the organization, not just one person opening okay. it. And so those are going to be risky as well as the uh, throwaway accounts that maybe only last 30 days or even the honey pots and the blacklists, all those things will be accounted for. And then we use that to then identify who the cream of the crop is to then be able to use that and, and you know, different email programs like Distribion or Acton and things like that. Yeah. So it's not just about making sure that you're contacting an actual person, mm -hmm. right? You also want to know if that person who wants to right. talk to you. Exactly. Um, so what are some creative ways to re-engage the audience? Sure. One of the big things, especially by uh, you know, with the introduction of Acton and Acton services, is allowed us to see what people are doing on the website and be able to start catering those conversations. So, if you have somebody who's looking at a lot of family fun pages, 
or a lot of restaurant style content, you can say, okay, those people who have engaged my normal newsletter, let's find out what they're doing, create personas, mm -hmm. and be able to say, I'm going to send an email to just the family friendly folks and be able to cater and actually write an email to them with that, that type of content. And then we have another one for restaurants, we have another one for deals or whatever people are, are actively doing on the site to be able to, to really just start to get them to open those emails. But it's not just opening once, it's once they've opened that email, keeping them opening for the future emails as well. Great. Well, if you enjoyed this content today, be sure to let us know by hitting the, the like button. Where it was over here, right? It's there. Like, we don't know. Don't it's know. A, it's a like. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel for more really great content. Uh, to check out this article, you can head on over to the layover. That descript or that uh, link is in the description. Um, and be sure to hit the bell icon to get those notifications each and every time we put out great content on the layover live. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye.